What's going on everybody? Marty here. Welcome back to another Thomcraft 6 episode. And um, I was doing some playing in between. And I've got this giant rift right here. <laughs> it will not go away either. Like crazy stuff's always happening. I've got taint seeds showing up all over the place. I've got these purple clouds of killer dust generating all the time. And uh, it's not too pleasant. But this one does not seem to want to go away. I honestly have been playing, I don't know, maybe uh, through the course of the last week since the last episode, maybe like 8 to 10 hours of just screwing around here, and uh, nothing's really going on. Nothing is going on with that, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that thing, and the thing that worries me is if I'm gone and a taint seed sprouts up, then directly in this chunk, which is, starts right here, as you can see on the mini-map right there, um, it is in this chunk with all of this fantastic and fun stuff going on right here. So, just going to have to see what happens and, and deal with it accordingly. But anyway, today what I want to get into is some Golomancy. So, I've made a whole bunch of the control seals. Ooh. And then, uh, what... <laughs> it's interrupting me. Music and sounds. Let's go uh, weather down to like 15%. That should work out just well. Oh, yeah. All right. We're stopping this thunder and lightning business. It's done. I don't want to listen to it anymore. Uh, nah. Yeah. Nah. We'll leave them. All right. So I want to get in some Golomancy today. So in this, uh, if we go to Clockwork Mines, we have the Golem Press here. And that is made with iron bars, a cauldron, a piston, an anvil, and a stone table. And you put it together like so. So, we're going to head up and put it together right in this corner. And I'm guessing that if we put it over here, oops, would probably be fine. So, I think it was like that, right? Let's see. Nope. Okay, so in the back corner, we're going to get the cauldron. In front of that, the anvil. Okay, got it. So back corner, cauldron, in front of that, the anvil, then the piston, uh, I wonder if it even matters, then the piston, then the stone table, then the iron bars, and it is multi-block, so let's grab some Salus Mundus, and I'm running low on that stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cool looking, oh, that's cool looking. Um... Oh, that is so neat. Okay. So we've got it built. Oh, wow. Okay. Great wood. Iron. Clay. Brass. Thaumium. Okay, so it has light and agile, but not particularly sturdy. Um, the iron golem is crafted from iron. Sturdy and fireproof, but heavy. The clay golem, not sturdy, but fireproof and light brass uh not as sturdy as iron nor resistant to fire brass is heavier than iron but allows for superior construction methods which results in a much lighter frame okay thaumium shares many char characteristics with iron though it is sturdier and more resistant to damage and okay so we're back to great wood Okay, uh, let's see. So these are like its qualities, I'm guessing. Blast proof, fireproof, and heavy frame. Fireproof. Okay, gotcha. Light frame, blast proof, fireproof, and heavy frame. Okay, so basic arms. You can change the arms. Find manipulators. <laughs> wow, man. This is cool. Uh, basic legs, uniwheel. No way. Oh, that is so awesome. Uh, instead of legs, you can give them a wheel. Incapable of jumping or going up steep hills. Uh, basic legs, no strengths or weaknesses. Basic arms, no particular strengths or weaknesses. Delicate and dexterous hands. Clockwork. Okay, so uh, do we put these in here? I don't know. I don't know yet. Oh, oh, here we go. Carry frame. Allows the golem to carry two stacks of items instead of one. So it just keeps adding to the cost of things. That's interesting. All right, so is there an inventory somewhere where I put this stuff? Let's see, what is something? Oh, um, a thaumium plate. Let's make some thaumium plates and see if we can, like, put them in there. Huh. 
Huh. Okay, maybe that stuff has to be in my inventory, I'm guessing. Okay, let's go to the Thalmanomicon. We're not going to go to that. Um, Biothalmic eyes. So these are different things that you can do. Block breaking. All right, so essentially what I want to get to is block breaker. The seal block. Oh, actually, no. I want to get to lumberjack, which we have to hit block breaker first. Then we can go to lumberjack. All right, collect. We want collect as well. And seal will constantly check an area you define for dropped items. Okay, we're going to want that one. Uh, store and empty. Store is... Uh, can place inside of container. Okay, so we want to come up here. We want to hit this. So we want golem manip manipulation block breaking. So we want that one. All right, so we need a theory of golemancy. I'm going to work on that, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got our theory. I'm sure we're going to need another one. I should have done two. And I need a diamond and a piston. Okay, let's grab the diamond and piston and get this research started. Complete. By replacing a golem's arms with a set of powerful diamond tip pneumatic grinders, it will be able to break through all the har hardest material. This research unlocks additional golem parts. Okay, so let's check this out. So now we can go to this. Yes, block breaker arms. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, next up is the block breaker. So once again, another golemancy. All right, it is time to finish up block breaker. Got that one done. All right. Uh, you can filter what types of block have been broken. Okay. And now we need to go to Biothomic Mines, which I've got the theory, and I've got one more too. Uh, so, as predicted, the Clockwork Mines. I have created all for very little in the way of abstract reasoning and autonomy. Attempting to create more complex clockworks has met with very little success. So I, so I turning to something I already know will work: living brains. By studying them, I might be able to unlock the secret behind true intelligence and autonomy. All right, we have completed that. All right, golems will retain their rank. Oh, interesting. So they rank it. Start. They have levels, kind of. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, lumberjack. There we go. All right, we've got this. While the block breaker seal can be used to chop down trees, it's not particularly effective at the task. I should do something about that. Refinement of the block breaker seal, the lumberjack seal will only target wooden logs, but instead of breaking the log the golem is hitting, it'll instead break the furthest. Okay, so that, oh, wait a second. What do we have? Extra, new page added. Advanced version of the series. Yeah, serial. Blah, blah, blah. Advanced version of the seal. All right, and that one's craft advanced version of the seal. Interesting. All right, so biothomic eyes. Okay, I'm all out of the theories. Okay, so now I can do the lumberjack seal. So if I put a block breaker one in there, which I have to arcane infuse with golden tools. Okay, and then I can make the block breaker. And then with the block breaker, I just toss it in the crucible with 40 herba and 20 census. Okay, so I can get that done. Um, okay, I'm going to go make these, and we're going to do... Hopefully a tree farm today. I think that'd be kind of cool. All right, guys. Now I have myself a little setup where I just do all my uh, uh, stuff with the jars instead. So I just put the jars here instead of throwing stuff in the crucible because they're, it's like lossless. So anyway, let's go ahead and make this 40 herba, 20 census. I've got enough. Uh, let's turn that one off and get that one on. So there we go. So we're going to have that. All right. So how do we do... What should I do? I'm guessing. Um, so we want the block breaker arms, probably, right? Yeah, block breaker arms, basic legs, capable. Okay, so he's not really. I, I do want to see him on a wheel. Um, smart, advanced biothomic brain, greater capabilities and the ability to learn. I mean, we can try it. We can try getting all crazy with this thing. However, it says it's fragile. Um, what about that? Clumsy. All right. Um, we could probably start off with the great wood one. I think that might be the best. So machina. And do I do like pipes right there? How does this work? Essentia tubes. Okay. So it does look like it connects. So we're going to need the, the machina or machina or whatever you want to call it. 
All right, so that would go here. Um, so 31 of that, and then great wood planks. So I'll need to make a whole bunch of stuff: the biothomic mine, arcane simple me simple arcane mechanism, and two diamonds. Okay, so I'm going to get all this stuff together, get it in my inventory, and see: do I want that? Uh, no, not really. I think we could leave it like that. I don't think he needs to carry anything, does he really? I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'll get all this stuff in my inventory. Actually, I'm going to go three great wood planks right now because that's easy. And I want to see if that... I've got three right there. I want to see if that little red X that's behind the great wood planks here gets... Yep. Okay, so all I have to do is just have that stuff in my inventory. Perfect. All right, I think I've got just about everything. So to make the biothomic mind, complex arcane mechanism, and that is right there. So let's get that on that. Then we need a zombie brain down here, and then we get the clockwork mind right there. And it says stable. We need some of that and some of that. Oh, now it's automatically unstable. 25 and 50. I swear, if it zaps that thing off, I'm going to be very upset. Because that wasn't cheap to make. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> okay. I think we're good. Let's make sure that one's not jacked up. Dangerously unstable. Hurry up! No! No, no! Okay, get back on there. No! <laughs> get back there. I've gained temporary warp. Oh no! It popped off! God, man. Okay, we're good. Whew, biothomic mine. Let's uh, let's heal up. That like that like almost killed me, guys. Okay, so we've got the biothomic mind. We've got all the stuff ready to make it, and it doesn't take levels or anything. Okay, it takes six hearts, half an armor. I've got half an armor. And half a whatever that is. Shall we? Oh, sweet. Look at this. Things are happening and stuff is going on. <gasps> oh, no. We need the machina. I forgot I took that. Here, let's, uh, let's clamp it full with that stuff. There we go. And there's our golem. He's smart, clumsy, breaker, brutal, light frame, fragile, and wield. He doesn't have wheels. Okay. So we can take him and over here, I think. Oops. We've got that. Oh, now he's got wheels. Oh, dude. <laughs> he's got wheels. Okay. So let's see. How does this work? Ah, dang it. Empty hand. Okay, so let's get the saplings. So let's say we're going to plant them over here. And let me go grab some bone meal so I can make the tree. Um, right there. Nine should be enough. Okay. Let's grow it. So what trees does he chop? If I give him that, do I give him the seal? No. What do I do with the seal? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, do I need to make the Golemancer's Bell? You see how that works? Oh, wait. How do I get that off? Hmm. Oh, man. Okay, Thumbnomicon. How do I get the seal? Hmm. Shift right-clicking on it with a bell. Okay, so the Golemancer's Bell... And that is just, okay, that's pretty easy. So four of these. 
and one of these sticks. So that, right, Golemancer's Bell. So let's retrieve that, and I think maybe we put that on the ground. Aha, uh -huh. okay, we do, maybe, possibly. Let's try it. Put it on the ground. Let's go Golemancer's Bell. Which is going to cover that. Okay. Priority locking, requirements, breaker. Okay, so we do that, and then do we get him on there? Okay, so he's chopping down trees. Where's your wheels, bro? Where's your wheels? Oh, he doesn't have his wheels now. What happened to him? Okay, so he's chopping that. And then it looks like we may need to make another golem. Let's get a chest out there and see what happens. So they made them a little bit different. Because before they would chop and then certain ones would like grab and put stuff in. So my seal is like right there, right? Is that within the range? Yeah. So that's all he does. He doesn't plant. He doesn't do anything. He just chops it down. So if that's there, and let's say there's another one that grows right there. He's going to go chop that. <laughs> he's like, I'm looking at you. I'm watching you. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So now I'm going to need to get a guy that plants. Okay. So we got the guy that chops. Empty, guard, combat, butcher, provide, harvest, and stock. Okay, collect, we're probably going to want, right? If items are found, it will instruct any nearby golems to pick up those items. Okay. So we want to do... Should We We probably don't need the advanced one. So let's just make that. Desiderium and a blank seal. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. So he's going to be doing all the stuff, actually, because we're going to have a bunch of seals over here. Um, so that stuff. Let's get the desiderium over there. Let's hook it up to this. And let's go ahead and put that in there. That was the last thing I crafted. So store, we're going to want to store one. Collect, we want one collect one. All right, we've got that. So let's, let's see if that one works now. So I'm guessing, I wonder if we just have to put that on the same spot or how this works. So do we have to put it on this? Okay, so it's there. Let's use the Golemancer's Bell. Oops. Alright, let's uh, smack that. Oh, he was starting to pick things up. Did you see it? He ran over there. Okay, so let's see if I can drop, drop that. Okay, up and down. Maybe not. Okay, we will get this, guys. Maybe I just need to put it like that. So anything in that large radius right there, he will pick up, right? Will he put it in the chest, or how does that work? So I found something out, guys. The seals, if we go up there, before I craft this golem, uh, the seals here tell you some good information. So the golem answers bell, if we use that on here, we go down to that, requirements, it says forbidden clumsy. So that's why he couldn't do it, because if we pick him up and look, he is smart, clumsy, breaker, brutal. 
All right, so he's got that, that clumsy thing to him. Now the other one here, click on that, requirements, required breaker, and smart. Well, luckily, this guy is smart, and he's breaker. So we've got all that stuff going on for that guy. Uh, but look, he's got his wheels. So sometimes when I place him, he's got like his add-ons, and other times he doesn't. But anyway, now that we've got that part figured out, I'm going to go ahead and craft that golem down there. And I can give him the different hands, I believe. I can give him the uh, the basic arms, or I can give him the fine manipulators. I've got all the stuff for it. That just makes him fragile, his light frame, deft, smart, and wield. So he is not clumsy. So that is good. So let's go ahead and get this guy going. And there we go. So now we've got him. And I think, did I give him wheels? I hope I did. I like seeing the wheels. They look cool. All right, so let's get this back down. And I don't think I really have to place them on that, that seal. But let's grab four of these, grab some bone meal, and let's get this one going here. So let's go like that. That one should start chopping. Yeah, it says wield. There we go. He's got all of his stuff. Okay, so let's see if this works. I'm going to empty out that and make sure he picks up stuff and puts it in that crate. Or actually, you know what's probably probably what I need to do is before, if you wanted to put something in a crate, you had to place them on the actual crate. Whoa, did you see that? How did that happen? All right, so he's chopping. And now he can pick stuff up, so he's going around grabbing stuff. Once he gets a full stack, does he put it away? <laughs> I love it. All right, so he's got everything picked up. But he's not putting stuff into there. <gasps> Oops. All right, so he gathers, but why does he not place it? All right, let's take a look at that uh, collect. To pick up those items. It just says pick it up. It doesn't say store. Oh, gotcha. So he is going to collect. Now I have to do a store go uh, thing and put it on the container itself. Okay, so let's do that. Man, there's like a lot going on in this thing. All right, so let's grab up a Versio. Oh, there's some warp going on. Oh, geez, it went down. All right, let's uh, pick that one up. I got the Adversio. Let's put that one right there. Let's get another seal in there. And then let's go store. I'll just take that myself. There we go. Thank you very much. All right, so let's get that on the side of the container. Right there. All right, so he's going to pick everything up. Good. All right, so we've got that. Okay, filter. Forbidden clumsy again. Okay, so he picked everything up. We're good there. All right. Empty. What does empty do? I can instruct golems to pick up and store items, but I might need to retrieve items from inventories. Okay, don't want to do that one yet. Um, use. Um, interact in the world more Simply carrying items around or attacking things, there are many objects that require manual operation. Maybe I can have Golems do that for me. I'd like to see what Harvest does, but we could probably go through and try go the that one. But you know what? I think we're we're going to be strapped for time, and I think this is a good start to the Golem farm. I mean, messing around with Golems is actually really fun. They're a lot different than they used to be, and uh, just the simple task of chopping down a tree and picking stuff up took took a little bit so I'll get some more research done get some uh, get some theories 
figured out and uh or not yeah some theories figured out and we'll go ahead and finish this golem farm in the golem tree farm in the next episode hope you guys are enjoying my name is marty signing out peace